I'm sorry. I have been searching for the last 20 minutes for a f fucking squirrel that I don't need. That is so cool. That is the best. That's the absolute greatest. And now I'm sitting here looking at another screen and all, what I do fucking need. And it's not in this goddamn area. Whoa. What the fuck is this? What the actual fucking fuck? Cave painting. Take ancient arrowhead? Dreamcatcher's mission complete. What? You have discovered Dreamcatcher's in the wild fire to reveal a secret within? What is the secret? <laughs> what? Did I miss something completely? I don't understand. What is this? Huh. Well, I guess I accomplished something. Oh my god, I got one in the fucking dark. No fucking way, dude. I shot that bitch in the dark. That's all it fucking took was me fucking fu literally a shot in the dark. Oh my fucking god. Fuck this game. I'm the best anyone's ever been at this fucking bullshit. Fuck you. That took me an hour and a half just to even find a fucking good enough brown rat. And then I shot it in the dark, dude. <laughs> Get your other YouTubers out of here, bro. Sign me up for professional Red Dead shit, man, if that's a fucking thing. This fella want. Ain't much in the mood for company right now, partner. Well. All right. You don't strike me as a happy fella. Making my life a misery, day and night. Sorry, man. All those years. Chasing her? Well, she didn't want nothing to do with me. It's woman problems, right? Might be better you spoke to the lady. Well, I, I don't generally have much to say. Listen, partner. I'm hardly one to give marriage advice, but it's better if you stick to it. <sighs> Can't make things worse, I suppose. See you, mister. Now, I got a blue jay to catch. And Yep, let's pick up the fucking burdock root, dude. Just 
try not to step on it. For fuck's sake! Oh my god. Wow. That's a really pretty bird, actually. God damn. Fuck yeah, dude. Alright, that's all I'm gonna do this episode because I've spent literally two full fucking hours doing this bullshit. We're gonna make our way back over to Beecher's Hope. Those plans make any sense? Oh, sure. Seems easy enough, I think. How hard can it be? <laughs> But I'll tell you what I think, just to be safe, I'll do the reading and planning, and you do the building. How did I know you'd try to weasel out of doing any work? Oh, now, that is plain unfair. It, it's inaccurate and not what's going to happen. I'm simply going to use what I've got, which is a brain. Why you use what you've got, which is less of a brain. <laughs> Let's get started. Well, first thing it says, the foundation. Which involves moving those heavy wooden joists. Definitely not a job for a man with terminal lumbago unless you want to dig a six foot deep hole for <laughs> me when the work day's over. Don't tempt me. Oh, well, here comes Charles. Maybe he can lighten the mood a little. How'd you get off? <laughs> I'll be back, but not for a while. Charles, dear boy, John needs help moving these joists. Now come on. Get a move on. We gotta get started before the rains come. You're very annoying. <laughs> He's right. She get on with this. Hey, the famous fucking soundtrack. <sighs> oh, 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 shit, I'm actually participating, I forgot. I would just set my fucking controller aside and fucking... Uh, just prepared to watch it. I mean, is it just me, or does this seem super complicated for somebody who's never fucking built a house before? Well, let me have Would a plan really be that easy? Did you see that Blue Jay sitting on the fucking thing? Yeah, see that Blue Jay sitting right there? It's on every single one. Well, we worked so hard to build a little house together. In the snow or the rain or the ice cold wind, whenever, no matter what the weather, check out that hair. We're together. Did you see that blue jay? Shirtless. Uh -huh. He's pretty skinny compared to Arthur. I mean, we also haven't been feeding him as a whole lot, but. Whenever, no matter 
any weather We're together <laughs> Did you see that? It said 045. I don't know if these are like... Did you see that Blue Jay? There's definitely... There's something going on. They they mean to put that shit in there, and I don't know why. I'd have to look up the videos for what the fuck's going on. But there was like... The number 405 in the... Um, in the in the written in wood planks and that blue jay is like it fucking everywhere. And I think that's everything. <laughs> John Marston, you have a home. So do you. Oh, I know. And you, Charles, as long as you'll stay with us. Thank you. <laughs> Gentlemen, to this heavy home. Well, at least till this fool gets his woman back. <laughs> it's been a while. My darling Abigail. It's already fucking trash and shit. I inside. hope you and Jack are doing well. Spills. I remain a fool, and I'm sure I shall die a fool. But I'm trying very hard to be something like the man you deserve. I have done something very silly Wasn't me. in an effort to impress you, and that is, I've purchased a home. Wasn't me either. The land you read about in the newspaper up at Beecher's Hope is now ours, and we are going to try our hand at ranching. Mr. Geddes kindly helped me buy the land. Wasn't me either. I met Uncle. While I was coming well, out of the I guess they expected me to well, shave my beard by then, but about him, I didn't. He has been enormously helpful in his own fashion. Charles Smith has also appeared and is unsurprisingly a pillar of strength. Together, we've built you a home. I hope soon to show it to you. I miss you and the boy more than I can express. Please, come back to me. Yours always, John. Why would they put those cutscenes in if it didn't happen, huh? Does look pretty good. Uncle, I thought you was where the hell? Uncle. Oh, I remember what happened. Okay. I'm gonna end that one right there. Ah, take a small break and I'll see you whenever I see you. Bye.